Wake of George Floyd's death, we've seen peaceful protests, violent riots, and now we're seeing an increase in calls to defund police departments around the country, including in Providence. But it's a statement that seems to have slightly different definitions. Some want to dismantle police departments. Others want a decrease in funding with the goal of moving those funds to other community-based programs. And tonight in a meeting via Zoom, we heard members of the community, city council, and the city's top public safety officials weigh in. Iowa News reporter Rob Nesbitt has more. Rob? Several people spoke during the Providence Finance Committee meeting held Wednesday over Zoom to discuss the possibility of defunding the Providence Police Department. More than 200 people watched from home, hearing different views on what needs to be done next. We are not safe with the police. Requests by the public to defund the Providence Police Department were heard first during Wednesday night's meeting. Alexis Morales, with direct action for rights and equality, shared an experience that happened to him with police officers during a traffic stop. I had a 12 gauge shotgun to my head at the moment. So after that, I guess they did what they said it was going to do. They busted the window and they dragged my friend out the car. They continued to kick him. His feelings of frustration were shared by Vanessa Flores Maldonado. And I don't feel safe around police. Black folks do not feel safe. Around. Like, I just don't know how many times we have to tell y'all. Flores Maldonado used her time to speak out against president of the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 3, Michael Imondi. When I see you laughing, Michael Mondi. I really, I don't understand what you're laughing about. The police union president argued that taking away from the department's $85 million fiscal year budget would result in consequences. Uh, defunding the police department will surely limit the amount of resources necessary to make our city safe. Chief of Police Colonel Hugh Clements shared how his department has taken action before by such things as banning warning shots and chokeholds. We're not perfect. We are not perfect but we are a damn good police department. Colonel Clement says that his budget is already paper thin and that taking away from it would be detrimental to public safety. Commissioner of Public Safety Stephen Perry agreed, but recognized those who joined the Zoom call to share their personal stories. We need to take ownership of, you know, the past to, to you know, correct the system going forward. Chairman of the Finance Committee, John Igliozzi, asked Commissioner Perry about the practice of police officers putting their knees on necks, referring to the George Floyd case. Commissioner Perry responded by saying that that is not used in training and not practiced by the Providence Police Department. Reporting from the control room, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.